Hello and welcome. I started my piano journey with classical training. And there are some exercises that I think every classical piano player needs to focus on in order to be ready to play the music that you love. So in this lesson, we're looking at three exercises for three different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. That's gonna set you up to have the most success when you're playing those classical tunes. So let's dive in. All right, we're gonna start with our beginner routine. So first things first, scales. Now, as a beginner, you're probably gonna be learning your C scale first of all, because C scale is all white keys from C to C. And the finger pattern for the right hand is one, two, three, tuck your thumb, reset your hand, one, nope, that's two, three, four, five, and then come back down, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. With your left hand, you're gonna play five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Head back down, two, three, tuck your thumb, reset your hand, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna spend lots of time perfecting that. The great news is as a beginner, once you've got that finger pattern, everything else is gonna feel a lot easier. So spend the time there. When you're ready, you're gonna try playing this hands together. Now, a really great question to consider is how fast should you be practicing this? And my suggestion is to play it only as fast as you can play it comfortably. So if that's this slow, that's totally okay. You're gonna build that speed gradually. Um, once you've got your C major, I wanna recommend you also practice the relative minor, which is A minor. So it's the exact same finger pattern, but you're beginning on A. So same notes, same fingering, but instead of starting on C, you're gonna start on A, B, C. Now we actually have a download for you. So you can download the full routines for all of the levels. The notes will be there, the finger numbers will be there. So practice is gonna be really, really simple and straightforward for you. The final thing I wanna say about scales is you really should be practicing with a metronome and I wanna show you how that works. Okay, so I've got my metronome here, free metronome app. I'm gonna set it nice and slow. Let's, let's see what happens at 65. So the reason this is important is because you may not realize that you're not practicing super consistently. And with scales, that's very important. So you're gonna play one note per click. And if this feels too fast, you're gonna go to your metronome and you're gonna slow it down. So I'm gonna bump mine down now to 50. Here we go. Feels slow, but it gives me time settle in and think about what I'm doing. My breathing, are my shoulders relaxed? Is the weight evenly distributed between the hands? There's always something new you can work on, even on the basics. All right, the next thing you wanna work on are arpeggios. So these are tons of fun. Uh, for C, you're gonna play C with your thumb, E with your two finger, G with your three, and then C with your five. And you're just gonna rotate like this. I'm holding down my pedal, which is an extra step you can add. It kind of makes things sound pretty, but a more pure way to practice this would be without the pedal. C, E, G, C, G. And you could do this, I don't know, 10 times. Make sure you've got a nice rotation in your wrist. I'll do it once more. You can do the same thing with your left hand. Five, three, two, one, two, three, five, three, two, one, two, Three, maybe I'll do hands together. I just play my right hand an octave higher. And I would say aim to do five with your right hand, five with your left hand, and five together, but 10 is a great number as well. And when you feel good there, you're gonna apply that exact same thing to A minor. So A, C, E, A. And you can just work between those two. I'm jumping in hands together here, but again, right hand, left hand, hands together. Our third exercise is going to be a Hannon. Hannons are fantastic exercises to work on dexterity, precision, speed, all of the things. So in this Hannon, we're going to be playing C, skipping a note and playing the E with our two finger, and then just walking up and then back down. And then you reset that shape and then you skip a note. And you can go all the way up this way. I'm going to join in with my 
left hand, which is five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, skip a note. And again, you wanna do this at a speed that feels comfortable for you. And when you're like really good and you can do this with a metronome, you can begin to bump that BPM. I always think like, go up three to five BPM and see how that feels. And if it's too fast, slow it down. So to come back down this one, you're gonna play top note, skip. So my four is on E here and my two is on E here. And then you just walk back down and then up. And eventually, you'll get fast at this. You'll have fun with it. Remember to smile as you practice. And there you go. You've got three exercises for beginner level. All right, let's look at some intermediate exercises. Once again, we're gonna be working on scales. And this time, we're getting crazy. We're gonna be playing E major and it's relative minor, which is C sharp minor. So E major has four sharps. I'm gonna tell you the notes. So we've got E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. And you're gonna to wanna to practice that right hand, left hand, and hands together. So here it is, hands together. Fingering is just the same as that C scale. And as an intermediate player, you definitely want to be pushing that tempo. So think 80 to 90 beats per minute, but you're going to be playing with eighth notes instead of quarters. So you're going to be playing two notes per click. This is what it'll sound like. Okay, I've got my metronome set to 90. I'm going to play two notes per click. One, two, here we go. And that's at 90 beats per minute with eight notes. Okay, so our next scale, the relative minor, is C sharp minor. So we're gonna be playing three, four, then we're going to tuck our thumb. That's the weirdest part of this scale, is just getting used to that finger movement. Three, four, one, and then we reset our hand to three, one, two, three. So we'll do that again, because it's tricky. Three, four, one, two, Three, one, two, three, two, one. Then we're gonna go three, two, one, all the way to the four and the three. Now that four, three fingering here just sets you up for the future when you're ready to be practicing two octave scales. So with our left hand, we're gonna be playing three, two, one, four will land on F sharp, and then three, two, one, and then three. So three is always on C sharp, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then you're gonna wanna practice that hands together as well. Three's on C sharp. Next up we have arpeggios, and this time we're gonna be playing two octave arpeggios. So we've got E, G sharp, B, tuck your thumb, pivot, G sharp, B, and E. And then you just come right back down the way you went up, three finger on B. So make sure that you're almost kind of leading a little bit with your elbow. You wanna keep your hand as relaxed as you can. Left hand, I'm gonna start nice and low. So five, three, two, one, three, two, one, and right back down the way I came. And eventually, you're gonna play this hands together as well. Staying relaxed, even pressure on the keys. Use your metronome. Five times, five times, and five times. All right, finally, we've got a hand in. This one's a little more challenging. We're gonna start on C again. You're gonna skip up to the E with your two finger, and then we're gonna play four, five, three, four, two, Three, so this is really working these fingers. Let's do that again. One, two, four, five, three, four, two, three. And then you just repeat that pattern over and over. We'll do one more with this uh, right hand. <laughs> and then we'll take a look at the left hand. So the left hand's gonna go five, four, up to G, two, one, three, two, four, three. Repeat, five, skip, four, Work on it hands together, ascending and D. 
descending. So you're gonna go up and down, and we've got this all as a download for you with the fingerings in there, so it's really straightforward for you to practice. And finally, let's look at a routine for advanced piano players. So at this point, you should be comfortable playing scales in more than one octave. So you can go back and practice the scales from the other two levels and just expand them into two octave scales. But here's how it's gonna look. We're gonna be practicing A flat major. So let's first figure out what the fingering and the notes are for that, and then we'll take it to two octaves. So we're gonna start with our third finger on A flat. Four on B flat, we're gonna tuck to C and then reset our hand, D flat, E flat, tuck to F, and then G, and look at that, three is back on A flat, which sets us up to do the exact same thing over again. Four on B flat, tuck, two, three, tuck, one, two, three. And you're gonna go back down the exact same way you went up with your forefinger on B flat. Three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three. Okay, so our left hand, we're gonna be playing, I'm gonna start nice and low to give myself space. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, up and over four, three, two, one, three. One, two, three, there's our four on D flat. One, two, three, you're gonna tuck, one, two, three, four on D flat again, and tuck your thumb under, two, three. And that's the fingering for your left hand. Now once you've got that, that has to be completely in your muscle memory, you're going to practice this hands together. Four on D flat. Four is gonna play B flat on the right. got the relative minor. So we're going to be working with F natural minor. All right, we're going to start with our one finger on F. G, A flat, use your four on B flat, tuck to C, D flat, E flat, tuck to F. Now you're reset to G, A flat, B flat, tuck again, C, D flat, E flat, F with your four, back down. You're going to be playing B flats with that four finger. So if you can remember that, the whole thing feels a lot easier. So we're going to be playing Three, two, one. Here's our four on B flat again. And we land on F. Left hand. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Nice standard fingering here. Four on G. Three, two, one, three, two, one. We're gonna come back down. Two, three, one. Two, three, four, tuck, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Hands together. <laughs> definitely going to want to practice this with a metronome as well. You can use eighth notes, so two notes per click, and begin to increase that speed. Again, you always want to find that comfort zone where you're like, I can do this, I can stay on track, and then bump it up by three BPM if that's comfortable, bump it up a little more, and eventually you're going to find that you're playing these scales at lightning speeds. So I would definitely say start um, slow, target 90 beats per minute using eighth notes, but then see if you can get that to 100 or 120. And the other thing to keep in mind with this is that it's normal to play the hands together version of these scales slower than the hand separate version because there's a lot going on and there's different fingers between the hands sometimes being used. So don't worry if you can play the hand separately versions faster and it takes longer to bring that hands together scale up to speed. Totally normal, totally okay.
All right, let's look at our arpeggios. So we're gonna be using these more challenging key signatures for our arpeggios this time. And we're also gonna be looking at three octaves. Five, three, two, one, three, two, one. Do it again. Three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, five. Together. We're doing it nice and slow here, but you can speed this up based on what feels good to you. And don't forget, you're gonna practice this with the natural minor as well. F, five, three, two, one. Repeat, repeat again. Thumb. You got that, then you put it together. looking at a Hannon exercise and for this one we've chosen Hannon number 15. So this one's gonna have your your fingers working really really hard as well as your brain. You're gonna be playing one, two, then your thumb comes up. One, three, two, four, three, five. So we'll do that again. It repeats. Your left hand is going to play five, three, four, two, three, one, and that all feels really seamless under the hand. Dun, 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 dun. And then two, one comes up to reset your hand. And so hands together. Sounds like that. And so you'll work your way <laughs> to think about what I'm doing. Hard to think and talk. <laughs> You'll work your way all the way back up. Coming back down, you've got five, three, four, two, three, one, two, one, five, three, four, two, three, one, two, one. Left hand, one, two, one, three, two, four, three, five, one, two, one, three, two, four, three, five. Together. And you can carry your way down all the way to the end. So this one's great. It's really gonna force your brain to think because those finger numbers are changing, those positions are changing at different times between the hands. Start slow, work up your tempo. This is all about consistency and accuracy. All right, so there you have it. Three different routines for three different levels. Now, the best advice I have for you as you approach practicing is do not rush. This isn't supposed to be something that you just check off and you've got it. You're supposed to take your time. This should feel like second nature and absolutely be present with what you're doing. It's one thing to sit down and just play a scale, but you need to think about what you're doing. How does it feel under your fingers? Are you using a metronome? Are you getting distracted? If you are, practice playing with different pressure. So medium, loud, staccato, legato. Always keep your brain fully engaged with what you're doing because that's gonna be what makes you an incredible piano player. So download the PDF, enjoy practicing and comment below and let me know what level you are currently working on. So have fun and I'll see you around.